Good morning, folks. Got a lot of messages about the orcas trapped in the ice. Their situation becomes dire as they struggle to get oxygen, and a call for icebreaker help was met by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans saying they are sending someone to assess the situation. Work faster. Canadians, call up the department. Seems like every other day some nuclear plant catches fire or something sketchy plays out. Here they say a fire caused a shutdown, but they also say all is well. Looking at the track of Cyclone Norell and the predicted strength, we are looking at a Category 4 storm for Western Australia. Rest of the country still dealing with heat and wildfires, while New Zealand had another tornado drop, getting to be a weekly treat. Europe, specifically North and Eastern Europe, light blue is a high temperature that doesn't break the freezing mark. Many places are colder, and don't forget this is your high temperature today. People began dying at these temperatures last year. In the United States, keep in mind this small low over Texas, but the next winter storm is here. Gandalf sending gray skies before white powder and has the entire western U.S. and Canada in the watch zone. Louisiana's watches for flash flooding due to that moisture drawn into the Texan low. Cosmic ray density on the rise again. Seems to be content between 100 and 101. Solar wind is showing slight variable density, but we never got that coronal hole stream. NASA has moved on, but I'll point out that these streams have been weaker, slower to arrive, or completely non-geo-effective since this Earth-facing quiet began. Speaking of that, let's wrap the first 10 days of the New Year's Sunspot Choke Fest. The best place to start? Top right here, a lone sunspot decaying to nothing. But he popped that New Year's flare and had his boys at his back when he crested. What about behind the top right here? That big active region was born facing Earth, but it was halfway out the door before it spoke a word and continues to shout down the street. South Central Solar Disk, these crested together and were highly complex and large, but have decayed so much since then. Up top, this region popped our M flare a few days ago, but since turning into view, only the top leading edge has maintained form. That leaves us here, on the northeastern limb, and me disagreeing with Noah about magnetic class as usual. I see delta spots, the X-class flare makers, where the blue and red are so near one another within the dark cores and penumbral surroundings. If this dies, it's A-plus evidence the sun is done this round. The moon makes a close approach to Earth today and conjoins the sun and a new moon tomorrow. Next week, the planets really begin to line up. Venus heliocentrically opposes Jupiter. Around that same time, Mercury and the Sun geocentrically conjoin, and Mars will line up with Neptune as well. We had a dark coronal hole facing Earth yesterday that may or may not have set a geoeffective wind stream. A long duration sea flare from that new active region can be seen emanating here. We'll miss Earth. If you haven't had sunrise yet, get out there and see Venus nearly occluded by the Moon, and later this evening, the same part of the sky has Jupiter ruling until the Sun steals it back in the morning. If you will quickly remember that all this earth-facing quiet is not good, while we don't want any killer flares, we do need some to expand the atmosphere after too much collapse during the deep minimum and not many flares since then. Everyone, let's ask the sun for some moderate but needed energy today. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.